Hi, my name is Doug from Claremont County Public Health, and today we're going to talk about a leech line system that was installed in the mid-1970s and the differences between that and a system that's installed more recently. A system that was installed in the 1970s, the tank is not required to have risers or a lid at the surface. Sometimes it can be difficult to find where your tank is if you don't know that already. Some people, when they do identify where their tank is, they will put a bird feeder or a bird bath over where the tank is. As long as whatever you're using to mark where the tank is at is removable and isn't going to cause any damage. For these older systems that were installed in the 70s, the leach lines may not be quite as evident. To someone that wouldn't know that they're there, as you can see, the leach lines are in this general area, but you would have no idea that the leach lines are there. So that's why it's very important for a homeowner to understand what kind of septic system they have and where the components are at in their yard. And that prevents any issues if you would like to install an outbuilding or a shed or some other kind of structure to avoid causing damage to your system and prevent any unnecessary expenses. So with an older system, again, many times the tank will not have lids to the surface and the area where the leach lines are at may not be evident to you just by looking at your yard. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact Claremont County Public Health at 513-732-7499 or at our website, www.ccphohio.org. Thank you.